In this video, I'm going over the Liebert Fitness Equalizers after using them for over two years. So let's jump right into the review. Hi there, my name is Derek and welcome to GamerBody. Over two years have passed since I purchased the Liebert Fitness Equalizer Dip Bar Station. Now I did purchase the XL Edition as I am about 5'11", even though they say it's for 6'1 and up, I'm glad I bought the one that is the XL Edition because I still think it's a little short overall. I'll get to that in a bit, but let's take a look at the Libre Fitness Equalizers, what they are, and how you can use them for your home training. To put it simply, the Libre Fitness Equalizers are a dip bar station that you can use in order to help improve and build muscle on your upper body. No, this is not for your lower body. You really can't do much unless it's something like uh, Bulgarian split squats or something like that. This is really an upper body device. It does say full body workout on it, but really this is only for your upper body. It is very good for both push and pull for body weight style movements or calisthenics, such as dips or tuck push-ups and things like inverted rows or inverted bicep curls. This is also marketed as being one of the best dip bar stations in terms of quality and sturdiness when doing your calisthenic style exercises. What I mean by this is even though the handles are not attached to one another, they do stay very sturdy while using the actual dip bar station, so they're not gonna flop over on you easily unless you are doing something really crazy or get really out of balance while using it. I have used a few other dip bar stations in the past that have been pretty wobbly, but I have to say these are definitely up there as one of the best that you can find on the market today. So with that being said, let's take a look at what I paid for this device and what you can purchase it for right now. So I purchased the Libre Fitness Equalizers back on February 2nd of 2018, so again, over two years ago as of shooting this video. At that time, the actual price on their website or the LibreFitness.com website was $139.99. At the time, I was using a discount code of $40 off of the YouTube channel for SimNet Nutrition. If you wanna check him out, he is a vegan YouTuber and fitness enthusiast, I guess nutritionist as well, who uh, promoted this back on, uh, back then, I used that code to save $40 on this product, and after a $19.50 of shipping, it came out to $119.49. Now, I don't believe that code works anymore to save $40, but Derek Simnet does have his own uh, dip bar station that you can get that has bananas on it um, from the website, I believe, unless that was only like a short amount of time. But just know that I did save about $40 with this code at that time. But I'm going to go over what Amazon has it listed for right now. So as the virus is currently still going around while shooting this video, the price may be a little inflated, but this is about the price that I've seen for the last few months. Now the XL edition, which is actually just the black edition on Amazon, is the normal price of $119. Um, you can usually maybe find it better on Facebook or eBay or something like that. But just know if you are looking to buy it off Amazon, which I will link in the description, it is about $119 to buy the black XL edition, not the signature edition. The signature edition that I have is showing at like $235. Please don't buy that. Uh, do not buy that one, buy just the black one. I know that's all shiny and uh, silver and whatnot, but it's not worth the extra over $100 to buy that. Just buy the XL edition, and you'll get the exact same thing, just all in black. Now, if you're someone who is shorter, maybe like five, eight or less, you could go with the standard edition, um, which is just like the yellow one that they have. And this is about three inches shorter than the XL edition. However, I am about 5'11", and being 5'11", I still think the XLs are still even a little short for me, where my knees can hit the ground. It's really gonna depend on your shoulder and chest mobility in terms of how deep you can get in the dip. But just note that my knees can touch the ground if I'm not bringing them up a little bit during a dip um, because of my current height. So they say 6'1 and up, but really I think it's really, 6'1's like the, kind of where you wanna start, or even like 5'11 is pretty much the cutoff for where you want to be going with the XL edition. If you're shorter than me, maybe you can get away with the regular, but I wouldn't, if you're, any, if you're my height or taller, I would definitely go with the XL edition. So let's talk about what it's like putting it together, moving it around, especially since I did move from California to Texas and took this with me on that trip. So honestly, I never ever take this thing apart. It fits in my closet very well, it takes up a very small corner where I also put my core fitness dumbbells in between it. So it really saves me a ton of space. And again, I never really have to take out the screws or take anything apart. What's really cool about them is you can stack them. Other dip bar stations I've used in the past 
were completely attached to one another, so you couldn't actually really take it apart easily and store it. Where this one, again, I can just stack them together, both handles, and they fit in a closet very, very well. The bars themselves are 31 inches high by 25 inches wide. So if you need to figure out somewhere to fit it, just know that those are the current dimensions of the bars themselves. Remember that you are working with two handles, so for each handle you have one giant handle bar that has two feet you put under it, and you put the feet so that they're facing uh, parallel to one another, but perpendicular to the handle so that it doesn't fall over. You then have four total screws for each handle, and two go on each side to lock the feet in place. And again, these have stood the test of time for the past two years, so they're still going strong. I have not had to replace anything on this dip bar station, and that's why I think the quality of this is very high. So in summary, it takes all of about 10 minutes to set the thing up, as all you have to do is take the big bar, insert the feet into it, and then screw in two screws on each side to set each one up. Really didn't take very long at all for me to put this together. With that, let's jump into the pros and cons list of the Liebert Fitness Equalizers XL Edition. So my first pro is that this dip bar station is very, very well built and stable when doing normal exercises such as your dips inverted rows, L-sits, and more. Now, if you are getting into much more advanced exercises such as handstands or something on them and you lose your balance, these could potentially fall over on you. However, they do stay very stable for a long period of time. Um, I do things like tricep extensions with them and they actually hold their own on not falling over unless I do something wrong or get too tired in doing the movement and actually end up pushing them over. That's really the only time I've ever had them fall on me. But during normal exercise and regular use, I've never had them actually fall down on me for any reason. Now the foam handles are great as they have lasted the two years that I've had this product. I do use the dip bar station in my training for mostly dips with other exercises implemented here and there. But just note that over two years, the handles look like they just came out of the box on day one. This is pretty awesome and goes with high quality, so that is why I do like to recommend this for a quality product. My next pro is storage, which I did cover a bit earlier, but I wanted to cover it again here. Storage is awesome with this product. All I have to do again is stack them and put them into a closet, and they don't take very much space at all. And since I can also put my core fitness dumbbells in between it, it just saves me even more space. Next, you get a lot of variety in calisthenic style exercises you can do with the dip bar station. Since you can also remove the handles and use them one-on-one, -on -one, this does open the door to doing other exercises. So for my main ones, I like to do things like dips and in inverted rows as well as L-sits from time to time. But other ones you can do and separate out with their own handles could be something like tricep extensions where you're on your knees or feet pushing with your triceps up uh, to back to kind of a plank and then going back down. This is a very hard movement, especially when you're using just your triceps to lift you up. But just know the Lieber Venus Equalizers won't fall over unless, again, you push away from the bars themselves. If you're holding them tight and doing the exercise correctly, they'll stay in place and work very, very well. Now, if you're Frank Medrano, you can do some pretty crazy things like handstands and other uh, like levers and whatnot. But for me, I'm not that advanced in calisthenics as I do more weight training with calisthenics kind of blended in here and there. But just know if you are more advanced in calisthenics, these might be an awesome product for you as that's what the design was actually intending for the audience to do was do more advanced style training, go kind of from beginner to advanced doing things like handstands and those uh, levers uh, instead of doing just normal dips and stuff every single day. And my last pro, these have lasted over two years and any product that lasts that long for me is going to make the top list of a pro product for me. All right, and let's take a look at my cons list for the Libre Fitness Equalizers. First, this product is very pricey in terms of others that you can buy on the market. I have seen dip bar stations as low as $40. Uh, however, I don't think these are all that great. I do a lot of reviews and searching online to see which ones get high ratings and whatnot, but a lot of them say that they're not very stable. And that's a big no-no for me with this uh, product because if you're gonna be doing things like dips and whatnot, you do not wanna be crashing or falling on the ground because this can easily cause injury while doing your training. Yes, I know this product is a bit pricier than normal, but honestly, for the quality I've got over the last couple of years, this product is absolutely amazing. Um, so I do highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for a quality, long-term product to buy for your home gym. My next con is that the product still seems a little short for me at 5'11", even though the XL Edition is supposed to be for anyone who's 6'1 and taller. I'm about two inches shorter than that, so it should fit me perfectly, but I still think it's even a little bit short for me. So I'd say if you're around 5'8 or 5'9 and shorter, go with the regular edition. But if you're any taller than that, I would definitely go with the XL 
uh, just for my personal recommendation. And my last con, which is one if you have white walls, is that if the edges of the feet, which are black, so they cover the edges of the feet in black, hit a white wall, um, or maybe like a light colored wall, it will leave black markings. This is a bit annoying as I am renting this current house, so I may have to paint over them or figure a way to get the black out of the walls. It's not like it left like a huge black stain, but it just leaves little black markings if you just barely even nick it. So that is one of the bigger cons I have, if, especially if you're renting. And that's it for my pros and cons list. So let's go over my experience for the last two years on using the Liebert Fitness Equalizers XL Signature Edition. So as I stated, I do use this product each and every week for my training. Normally it is for dips and occasionally I get in things like inverted rows and L sits in my training when I want to spice and change things up. When not in use, I put the Liebert Fitness Equalizers in my closet and then I take the Core Fitness Dumbbells, put them underneath it and I call it a day. This way to store is awesome, saves me so much space and takes up almost no room in my office, which is amazing because it's not that big to begin with and lets me put in more things like keeping my guitar, my cabinets, my computer, all of that stuff. Um, and not keeping a bunch of fitness, fitness equipment out in the open. Also, this product is very sturdy. Again, I've used other dip bar stations in the past that were a bit wobbly using them, and a lot of them are kind of pre-built to be attached all together, but I like that these are actually separate handles. Makes it easy to maneuver around, again, easy to store. I can kind of set them up however I want it if I want to put them like really wide or really narrow. However I want them set up, I can just do that because each one is its own and is very sturdy just being that way. I think a lot of other products try to make them more sturdy by connecting them, but in doing so, somehow they're just not as good overall. I've seen a lot of reviews on people comparing the two, and the Libra seem to almost always win. All right, and the last question I like to ask myself is, would I buy this product again, especially after having and using it for over two years? And as you might have guessed, this is a easy yes. For the stability of the product, quality, how long it's lasted, it's been over two years, um, stable, you can set them up as you want, uh, price is kind of high, but it's still good for how long they've lasted. All of those features make this a great, great product for your home gym. To me, if you're looking for one of the best of the best dip bar stations, you can't really go wrong with this product. I've yet to find anything that's compared to it out there, but maybe there is one I haven't found yet. But just know, for the price of $120, you can buy one of the best home pieces of equipment that I've ever used. This has to be up there with my Core Fitness Dumbbells and my Perfect Fitness Ab Carver Pro as being one of my favorites. Um, so just know it is going into my favorites list as of right now. Maybe something will beat it in the future. I'll have to buy a new one because it's not listed anywhere online for you guys to check out. But just know this is one of my top, I'd say five products right now that I've ever purchased for my home training. All right, and that is it on this video of the Lieber Fitness Equalizers XL Signature Edition. If you did like this review, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. Also, make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. There you can check out my current training program, the equipment I currently own and use. Yes, the Libra Fitness Equalizers are there and the resources I use to continue building muscle and confidence from the comfort of home. All right, and that is it. So again, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.